Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of equal shares. This is standard 3.4H in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 25 off the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So Greg has a number, has a package of 14 stars to put in the two posters that are shown here. And he's going to put the same number on each poster. All right, so let's make sure we understand what that means. Whenever we see the same number on each poster or the same number in each group, we're going to start, it really starts here in the third grade and it's going to follow you for the rest of your school career. We're dealing with equal shares. When we're dealing with equal shares, when we see any type of problem that is talking about putting the same number in each bag or the same number of stars on each poster or the same number in each group, when you can say, oh, those are equal shares or those are equal groups, we are talking multiplication or division. And really, we can represent each of those uh, in either way because those are inverse operations and they are in the same fact family. So we've got 14 stars. All right, so I'm just going to draw two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, so I'm gonna draw 14 stars and it's going to be pretty simple. I'm just going to put one in each group, right? I'm going to basically get rid of them two at a time because I need to make sure that they stay equal, right? So that's going to be one, two. And I'm going to do three, four. I'm going to do five, six. It looks like that is all that I can put on those two rows so watch this I can do the same thing you notice how I just put a, a row of three right here and a row of three right here all right well let's just save a little bit of time I could put I can do that same thing I could put another row of three in this left one one two three and then I've got another row of three that I can put in this right one. One, two, three. All right, so I've got six in each so far, but I can't do a row of three. But look, I've only got two left. So I'm just going to put one on each. And it looks like I've got all of them out there. I was supposed to have 14. So let's just make sure I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so I've got 7 on each. Now, how do we represent this uh, with some number sentences? Well, I told you this could be both uh, multiplication or division. So if you wanted to write this as, mul as a division fact, most of us probably know uh, this division fact, but I'm going to take my 14 stars, I'm going to divide them into two posters and that's going to give me seven stars per poster. Another way to do it would be to say I've got two posters, right? And I needed to put so many stars per poster to get me up to 14, right? That's my, that's my missing number. That's why the division would work, but maybe you know that multiplication fact and you're going to get that seven there either one of those is going to work uh, you see what we what we've done here is this this is uh, 14 times 2 we're supposed to divide it this is 14 plus 2 we're supposed to divide it this is 14 minus 2 we're supposed to divide it so there we go our answer is going to be d because look i just took 14 and 2 and did all four operations and only one of them is correct, 7.